Hi there guys, Sam here. You join me once again for another video in my Golf R to talk a little bit around a topic which I brought up when I first got the car. I mean, it's a little bit around rust and it's a little bit around rust around the wheels of the Golf R. So I'll get straight into the video really. So as you know, if you've been following my channel, I do plenty of videos on my Golf R. I had it for about two years now and absolutely love it. Um, one of my first early videos about two years ago, and I put a link left hand side if you want to check that out. One of the things that I was really quite concerned about was the amount of rust that would develop just sort of in front of the brakes um, on sort of like the wheel hub and it was something that worried me more because when I was looking to get a Golf R, particularly a second hand one, in the forecourts all the VWs there had so much rust and it was really, it looked awful, it looked really really bad, not something you can just sort of pressure washer off, something you'd really have to go to town to kind of repair and make look presentable. Um, Particularly the cars with the bigger wheels and the smaller brakes, it kind of shown a lot more and it was something that really worried me. It's something that really worried me about what happening to my car and particularly early on, I sort of saw a little bit of rust and I was like, damn. Um, so I wanted to kind of share what it's like now, kind of two years on, you know, I've nearly done 19, well, about 19 and a half thousand miles. What uh, the situation is kind of looking like now. I put a little clip as I'm kind of talking. Um, so the rear right wheel, and they're pretty much the same on sort of both the um, the rear axle, but they certainly look the worst on the rear. It's not actually too bad. Um, it's like a little bit of surface rust. It's nothing that makes the car look bad. You know, if that makes any sense, it still looks presentable. I think a bit of that is the fact that Cadiz wheels hides it quite a bit if you sort of zoom out. Um, and also the brake disc kind of fills the arch as well. So you kind of distracted, your eyes aren't sort of pointed to it. But if you go up close, you can notice it. It's not great. Um, a lot of that rust kind of comes from potentially the British weather as well. You know, we're not particularly fortunate around here. I, I don't know if in Germany it's particularly better. Um, but one of the things that I got from the community was that it's not particularly well rust protected. And because it rains all the time here, if you don't have a garage, if you don't have a carport, if you don't have an underground car park where you store it for work, if it's out in the rain all the time or not be getting driven as well, um, yeah, rust can form. And I, I got that impression from the VW dealers when I was looking at cars. The cars had obviously been sat there for three, four, five months, potentially even longer. Um, not particularly well loved, you know, they got to shift them at the end of the day. And, you know, they're just going to get soaked and rust will have formed. So after two years, the rear is actually not too bad of mine. And looking through the fronts, I can barely notice it at all, actually. I, I don't know if that's a mixture of just having bigger brakes again your eye kind of takes away or something but it's barely anything you know it's really not noticeable at all which is great for me after this amount of time i think a big part of that is unfortunate enough as you can see at the moment to have a carport so certainly on the weekends anyway i've got a decent amount of coverage when the car's sort of sitting not getting used as much if it rains it's fine i've also been very fortunate about my previous work I've had an underground car park all the time so pretty much 90% of its life is secure underground it's not getting drenched it's all fine and it's covered up that may change actually with my new job I'm not too sure if I've got an underground car park yet or whether it's not it's going to be exposed but we'll see and again I'll see if that actually does affect to see if any sort of rust does appear um, but good news it really hasn't and there are tips on YouTube as well and stuff that you can actually go to great lengths taking the wheel off, giving it a bit of, you know, scraping the rust off, the surface rust off, giving it a bit of rust protection, etc, etc. And that's what I was thinking of doing quite early on. Certainly not considering that now, particularly after the time I've owned it, it's not that bad. Um, and it's still looking as good as ever and it just shows kind of the durability of the car. It can stand up to kind of the worst of the British weather without kind of ruining the car, if that makes sense condition overall of the car is actually really really good for me um and the rust was something that kind of sprung to my mind and something i wanted to draw back to share my thoughts of the update kind of after two years of kind of mentioning it really but yeah thanks very much for watching you know give it a like if you joined enjoyed this video and found it hopefully informative and um, do check out my other videos on my golf i've got plenty more on them um and there's plenty more to come as well and you know thank you so much for subscribing you know i'm sort of coming up to these 600 subscribers which means a lot um, you know, coming up to sort of quarter million views, which is crazy, really, for me. You know, I'm just a guy with a, a little GoPro, which I've had for a couple of years, and 
it means a lot that you guys kind of support that and and join the videos really and please comment you know a lot of you guys are golf bar owners let me know if you've experienced any rust sort of on the wheel sort of hub area um and you know other people as well in the community will be interested and i certainly do look at all the comments and i do try to reply to all of them um and that's a big part of what i try to make in the channel as i've probably mentioned to some of you before but um you know thanks very much for watching have a great day rest of your weekend you know enjoy it and um please subscribe for more content on my golf R. but thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again next time cheers guys